Now that our sample has been applied to the HPTLC plate, we can move on to the next step of the process, which is going to be the development of the plate. And for that, we're going to use the Automated Developing Chamber 2, or ADC2. Uh, this system will automatically develop the plate. It will saturate the chamber, uh, provide humidity controlled environment for the plate, monitor the progress of the development, and then automatically remove the plate once development is finished and dry the plate. So fully automated. Now, uh, basically what I've done to get this started is we have two solvent ports on the top of the instrument. Uh, over here we have the developing solvent port where I've poured in 10 milliliters of our developing solvent um, or mobile phase. And on this side we have 25 milliliters of our saturation solvent which is in most cases and here is going to be the same as the mobile phase. So 10 milliliters of mobile phase here, 25 milliliters of the same solvent here, but this is going to be for saturating the chamber. Now, what we need to do is we need to load the chamber into the ADC2. And here we have a 20 by 10 glass twin trough chamber. Uh, this is a special chamber for this instrument. It's been uh, uh, manufactured with a little better tolerances. And basically we're just going to put this inside the chamber. Before we do though, we're going to put in a saturation pad. Uh, this is to aid in the saturation of the chamber. So this will be coated with solvent once uh, the saturation begins and will help uh, saturate the chamber more quickly and evenly. So we're going to insert that in the back. And then we're going to put the chamber into the unit. And there's a lever on the side. We're going to lower this down on top of the glass chamber to seal it. And now what we need to do is we need to put the plate into the ADC2. So we open the front door. And we're going to put our HPTLC plate into the holder. Like so. And now we're just going to insert the plate into the unit, close the door, and at this point, now that we've got our solvent, our chamber, and our plate all installed, we're going to go to the software and actually start the process. And that will be again be fully automated, so basically we're finished at the instrument at this point. One other thing to note is over here on the side, this is a, uh, a chamber, a glass chamber containing the humidity control salt solution. We have a magnesium chloride solution in this glass container. Uh, this will actually uh, control the humidity before the plate develops to bring it to a constant humidity. And that number is going to be theoretically is about 33%, uh, but you will typically get ranges around 35 to 36%. But that number will be the same every time you develop your plate, which is very critical to having reproducible uh, developments throughout the year. Our lab has varying fluctuations uh, of humidity and this will allow that humidity to be the same every time you run a plate. So this is a very, very critical uh, aspect of the ADC2. So now we're going to move over to the software and start the development process. Now after the sample application we are ready to develop the plate so here we are moving to the development step with the ADC2. As before, you can see it tells us what we need to do to prepare the instrument. We put in the tank with the saturation pad in the rear chamber. We've lowered the handle. We have uh, inserted the plate properly and we have put in our solvent system. As you can see, it tells you the solvent here and how much to put into each of the solvent funnels on top of the instrument. And we have our uh, activation bottle for the humidity control in the back with magnesium chloride so that's ready as well so at this point we will just click on continue and when we do that the process will start and you can see here it will show you what is going on in each step of the process so the initialization then the pre-drying and then from that point it will move on to the um, the saturation of the chamber, the solvent will be emptied into the, the glass chamber as you saw and the saturation will begin for 20 minutes and at the end of that 20 minute period the last 10 minutes of that 20 minute time will be the humidity control as you saw and when that is finished the plate will 
pull, pull out of the chamber and will be dried and will be ready to go.